And we start with a difficult yet important story. A Streetsboro couple who lost a son to suicide has created a mission to spread awareness about the dangers of sextortion. Now we first told you about the tragic death of 17 year old James Woods, a beloved student athlete at Streetsboro High School back in November. A stranger threatened to post naked pictures of the teen on social media unless he continued to send money. Just a day later, James took his own life. Now, according to his family, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security is now investigating this case. Tonight, our Bob Jones went back to visit with James's parents to follow up and see how they're turning their pain into a push for change. Let the world know what happened to James and that it can happen to anyone. Tamia and Tim Woods may never know who tormented their 17 year old son, James Woods, through sextortion, but they plan to be relentless at a quest for justice and through their new foundation, warn other kids and parents. There is no task too big that is worth taking your life. The couple also revealing Homeland Security is now investigating the events leading up to James's death by suicide. It always takes law enforcement a minute to catch up and get ahead of things. So with Homeland Security being involved, you know, it's, you know, eventually there's going to be something good that comes from this. The family says James, who was on the Streetsboro cross country and track teams, was convinced by someone probably overseas to show his private parts through Instagram, which was screenshotted. Evil sextortion followed with threats to post the pictures if the teen didn't continue to send money. Sent him over 200 messages in 19 and a half hours and to the point where he thought he didn't have any choice but to take his own life. Within 60 days of the tragedy, Tim and Tamia launched the Do It For James Foundation. They're planning speaking events and creating scholarships for high school and college students. We have to make sure that our kids are protected. That's what we're here for. James's legacy will also be honored here at Streetsboro City Park on August 5th, when the foundation will host a 5K run and walk. It will also include food trucks and stations to raise awareness about the dangers of sextortion. It is easy to become a victim. Federal agents say sextortion crimes are growing with more than 3,000 minor victims in the last year. The people that are capable of doing this are the worst criminals that I deal with in my life. Homeland Security offering multiple tips for sextortion victims, including blocking the predator, but don't delete the messages, which could help investigators and get help from adults before paying any money. You need to remember that you have a full life ahead of you, and just because of a decision um, that was made, you were a victim. You didn't do anything wrong. Through their heartache and loss, the family believes James, who was always smiling, can still help others. He's probably looking down at us, probably uh, smiling, patting us on the back, you know, pushing us forward. In Streetsboro, Bob Jones, News 5. North Canton police say they're also investigating a rise in sextortion cases. They've seen half a dozen in recent months. Most of the victims were teens who sent pictures and were threatened to be exposed publicly unless they paid money. North Canton police are stressing to teens not to be afraid to talk to parents or a trusted adult if this does happen and you are not alone. If you'd like to report a potential case of sextortion, you can call 1-800-CALL-FBI or report it online at tips.fbi.gov.